girl Joyce, welcome back to another video. For today's video, as read by the title, it is going to be my thoughts on Jeremy Gilbert's character from The Vampire Diaries and why he is the most unnecessary character of the entire show. I know that so far it hasn't been very like positive when it comes to my character analysis on the Vampire Diaries. I don't want to give the impression that, oh, I hate all the characters from the Vampire Diaries, because that's not true. There are some characters that I'm really, really excited to analyze and that I really love a lot and I loved watching them. So those are also coming up, but I want to get started with who I think are the most boring and necessary, well-deserving. So I wanna get all of that first, and then afterwards I'm gonna go with the positive characters that I think they were okay, that I enjoyed. Of course, there's going to be a little bit of flaws here and there. I did see a flaw in every single character because, um, I mean, let's be really honest, um, The Vampire Diaries is still a good show, but it lacks a lot of character development. If you guys are new to this channel, hello, my name is Joyce. I do makeup looks, reactions, reviews on TV shows, movies, plot lines, characters, storylines, and song covers. And if you stay on this channel, you will not regret one single second. I just want to mention one more thing after um, this character analysis. I'm still going to continue, but I do want to upload a one makeup tutorial and another song cover. So I have talked about it in my last community post. Let's start with Jeremy Gilbert's character on the show. Jeremy Gilbert is Elena's little brother, not her biological one. As Elena comes to find out from Jenna that Elena is in fact adopted. He doesn't have a lot of friends, but his most well-known interactions have been with either Matt or Tyler. Also the most unnecessary characters, but those are going to be for separate video analysis on Tyler and Matt. He has dated Vicky Anna, but his most prominent one was Bonnie Bennett. From season one to season three, Jeremy is mostly trying to get involved to help out his friends or sister, but his sister tries to keep Jeremy out of all of this so he won't get hurt. In season four, he becomes a vampire hunter and from then later season, Jeremy's just like kind of sidelined and he kind of fizzles out through the storylines. This is my summary, my review on Jeremy Gilbert's character in the show. Now I'm going to talk about my issues with his character from The Vampire Diaries. Jeremy is the most boring character in the entire show. In my opinion, I think he's the most boring, the most useless, seriously. I really have no idea why the writers kept him after season one. I feel like after season one, Jeremy should have just like, I have no idea why he was still in the show, seriously. And I'm not sorry for anything I'll say. His storylines have never anything to do with the plot, which is actually upsetting because Bonnie is a main character in the show, but she's the most disrespected. And Jeremy is like, mostly like a minor character and he still has the most screen time and yet it still has nothing to do with the plot at all. Like you, you can disrespect Bonnie's character, but when it comes to Jeremy's character, y'all can give him so much screen time, but the most lifeless storylines, mm -mm, nah, I'm not rooting for that. He dated Bonnie, but ends up cheating on her. And the writers thought it was a good idea for them to get back together. Y'all disrespect my girl Bonnie so much and you guys are actually going to make Bonnie and Jeremy the most pointless couple in the entire show. Get them back together after Jeremy treated Bonnie like absolute crap. He doesn't even deserve Bonnie at all. His relationships also contribute to nothing in the show. His relationship with Anna was very pointless. Vicky, okay, just a little bit in the beginning, but afterwards still has really no meaningful impact to his character. It all just kind of fizzles out in his storyline. So 
that's a little bit disappointing for him and kind of embarrassing as well. Those are my main issues because his storylines are mostly like sidelined from the other characters. Like they really don't have anything to do, especially the werewolf storyline and the moonstone. There's not much to say about Jeremy Gilbert because he's seriously so boring. Oh my goodness. Even the vampire hunter storyline, I found myself so bored by this. I would just take my remote and I would just skip it seriously because I really do not give a shit about Jeremy Gilbert. I'm going to finish off with what did I learn as a viewer seeing Jeremy Gilbert's character from the show. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna say this blatantly. The actor who plays Jeremy Gilbert gives the most lifeless performances and that's why jeremy gilbert's character is very boring because his acting i'm sorry but it's very very stale there's not a lot of emotion our stoner stories look jenna i get it you were cool once and that's that's cool take it and get out maybe <laughs> what's wrong with you cool sure sounds uh sounds she didn't yeah yeah i'm uh, i'm fine she wants me to meet her at the grill tonight a loner and uh i like you because i'm pretty sure that your journal covered it <laughs> you a little old for a high school carnival like oh my god his voice is so monotone i usually don't shade on the actors seriously because they're just doing their job but stephen r mcqueen is probably one of the worst actors in the show oh my god i mean we do see him like crying at sometimes and, and shit but it's just like it's just so boring he doesn't really add so much like it's not intriguing like damon or even bonnie even though she was very dis her character was very disrespected at least we saw that cat graham gave her everything whenever she was acting as bonnie whenever she was on the scene like it was at least very impactful and i sometimes it even gave me chill but jeremy it's just you look at the TV and you watch him and you watch the storylines and you're just like <laughs> he contributes to absolutely anything and honestly even some char some characters in the show have talked about and mentioned how Jeremy has nothing to do with it and that he should mind his business mostly Elena and Damon Elena would protect him Damon would tell him to mind his business some of the main important characters tell Jeremy that he shouldn't be involved in involved in the situation and they try to toss him aside basically justifies and proves and shows to viewers that Jeremy Gilbert is the most unnecessary character in the entire show. This is basically essentially why the writers had to write Jeremy off of the show. I think so because I feel like they really didn't know what to do with Jeremy's character after season for mostly around season five and six i feel like they had nothing to do there's really not much to say about him and that's why they wrote him off because like he doesn't i think they realized that he doesn't really contribute to anything in the story and i'm sorry i have no idea why they didn't realize that since season one aside from his parents his parents dying and how it affects him and we see he gets into like drugs and he does stuff like that I mean, I could see how at first it was impactful, but again, like I said, the actor gives the most boring performances. The acting is very not good. That's why I think a lot of people don't really care about Jeremy Gilbert and his storylines. I think at this point, especially going throughout like the series, I think Jeremy was used for filler whenever the writers have nothing to do and they are running out of ideas on the storyline then they add jeremy i mean that's why they made him a vampire hunter because i don't think they had any other clues on how to progress the storyline um after the originals came in season three and in season two which honestly was one of the best storylines i'm gonna talk about that in uh later um in my tvd videos those storylines were my favorite the other ones i really could not care less like the siren storyline heretics time travelers like oh damn i just really didn't give a shit seriously this concludes my video analysis on jeremy gilbert's character from the vampire diaries and why he is so boring and why he is the most unnecessary character 
in the entire show. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more content. Let me know in the comments if you agree or if you disagree. Um, I would love to know your thoughts. And yeah, that is it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.